Hi guys, Pam here. Tonight I'm going to show you how to French braid somebody's hair as well as your own hair. So it ends up looking like that. So let me get my model and we'll get started. I'm going to make sure and brush the hair so all the knots are out. So you want to split up the hair into three sections. So start at the top and get a middle section here, a section to the side, and one to the other side. Just on top of the head. So you're starting like a braid. So you have one, two, three. So then you just take the middle section and you pull it off to the side while grabbing some other hair to add to the middle piece. And that's essentially all French braiding is, is doing a braid while adding hair to each strand as you go down. So now we're going to take some of this and continue to braid on down. I'm going to grab more hair over here. And hair over here. And that's what keeps makes it a French braid as opposed to just a braid. Are you doing okay? Mm -hmm. So on this French braid, I made it with big strands. So it was quick and easy and kind of loose. Like that. Where a lot of French braids, sometimes people do a lot thinner strands. Okay, so that's a little bit more thinner starting at the top. It looks very cool, Shannon. Very nice. See how it looks in the front? Very nice. Very pretty. Thank you. <laughs> So now, if you want to French braid your own hair and you have bangs like I do, I usually just start and leave my bangs and I'll just pick three strands on top of my head like this, all blindly. I don't need a mirror by now. And you just kind of learn to do it by peels. Now I have those three strands up here, leaving my bangs alone. So I just dropped the middle strand and I'm going to go pick up a side strand here and grab that middle strand. Then I'm dropping the next one into the middle. I'm grabbing onto the one to the left. And now this is the one in the middle. And I'm going to grab this hair. So now I'm going to drop this one in the middle, grab this one, and grab hair from the side and continue to go down like that. Keep grabbing hair as you braid along. And when you do this a lot, it can get kind of used to it and it becomes a lot quicker. Tie it off with something, a little rubber band or a ribbon, all 
kind of hair thingy. So there's my French braid. And if you want to, you can even tuck up this end. I know when I was in the military, I couldn't have anything long. You can tuck it up there. And then put a couple of bobby pins in there. And then you have it done. And that's it. Thank you.